Okay, I've... <laughs> I've unmuted myself, and now I've unmuted you guys. So Alright, cool. Hopefully we should be audible now. Yo. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, welcome everyone to the first uh, installment of Adaptive Flow State, this uh, weird name that I've come up for what is essentially a mentor-student invitational series. So I have on mic here with me uh, Lid, the Linnae player and mentor of Hubstyle, one of the players today, and Rockhawk, the mentor of Pudgy McMuffins. Um, originally a Byakuya player, have you just transitioned entirely to Chaos at this point? Uh, I have... He's still... It's... The best way for me to describe it is that Chaos is at, like, 80% of where, like, my Byak is, in terms of, like, how good I think I'm, like, actually playing when I'm playing as Chaos. I see. Uh, and then, as a result, like, because I'm not, like, playing full-time Byak, Byak is also like, probably, like, 90% of where I should be, probably. Mm. Okay. Just from, like, cleanliness type stuff mostly right and lid here but, is actually a content yeah. creator at this point now right at least trying to break yeah. into that when i upload like once a month but yeah <laughs> you've been like, streaming like on youtube forward. right yeah i have been streaming on youtube which cool. um which is nice hello it's a lot harder for people to find the stream but it's all right is youtube streaming easier for you in some way or i just like I just think it makes more sense to have everything around my content all in one place. That makes so the sense. streams are there, the videos are there. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a little unfortunate that YouTube streams aren't like very good for discoverability and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's funny because like all the Japanese uni players stream on YouTube a lot of the time. Like that's where Jikangiri used to stream. That's where Ohito streams like every other day. Mm hmm. It's the same for the, uh, the P4AU community, actually, for the oh, JP really? players. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can see that. I, th I feel like Japan likes to stream on YouTube, or just use YouTube more in general than Twitch. Just, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's like a, maybe like a language type uh, barrier thing or something like that, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Alright, mm -hmm. so fair warning, I'm experiencing this weird thing with Twitch right now where um, my chat just constantly refreshes and keeps saying welcome to the chat room at me. Uh, so I currently have two instances of stream chat up between OBS and the actual Twitch like popped out chat and they look different between the two of them because they're refreshing at different rates. So it's po it's it's possible <laughs> that I will miss messages and uh, you guys can hopefully let me know if <laughs> if there's a message that I'm clearly ignoring or something. Mm. Okay, but in the meantime, let's take a look at the schedule. Also, again, shout out to Ricer at, uh, at sign Ricer underscore on Twitter for the incredible graphics that he like just put together so quickly for me. Yeah, these are sick. Yeah, huge shout out. Okay, so as uh, Lid and Rockhawk are the ones on commentary with me, as you might guess, our first set is going to be Hub Style versus Pudgy McMuffins. Um, almost, into, almost definitely going to be Linne versus Chaos. So, I know both of you actually have been talking in your respective threads with your students. Like, have you actually gotten, like, a lot of mentoring done so far? Uh, I've taken uh, a couple of opportunities to actually talk with Pudgy a few times. Uh, mostly just to sort of get an idea of what he wants from uh, the actual, like, mentoring where he thinks he's at, uh, sort of what direction to actually guide him, as well as just uh, generally talking about the game. If you literally give me an opportunity to just sit and talk about uni for three hours, I just will. So <laughs> I think we all could, yeah. Yeah. I think the big thing for this, or uh, what we did, was uh, the last time that we talked, uh, we sort of set like a couple goals just to try and meet while we're playing this set. So, Pudgy actually has something to actually think about while this first set's going on, and we'll see if, like, that actually, like, sort of meets, like, what we're trying to do here. Cool. And Lid, how about you with Hub? Yeah, we managed to go over just some, uh, he's able to record some casual games, so we just looked at those, and, um, you know, there's um, there's things to work on. There's always things to work on, right? Um, so I just kind of gave him some good starting points. Uh, but 
I think it was things that like he kind of knows he needs to do, but it's hard to implement them, mm-hmm. and it takes a long time to like make them second nature. Um, yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like concepts like you know you frame trap when you think they're gonna mash right, but <laughs> you know, just, like, just when do it. Do that yeah. And stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so much harder than just saying it. So. Yeah, I mean, I actually have a, a lot of. A good amount of personal experience mentoring Hub specifically myself from the beginner lobby. Actually, every player today is going to be, uh, well, Pudgy hasn't been showing up as often, but every player today is going to be mostly from my beginner lobbies, which is kind of interesting. And yeah, Hub I think it's is a specific. Good set to start the game mm-hmm. more, especially because it's like I know that I've watched the beginner lobbies before, and it's like Pudgy and Hub I think are two recognizable names from the beginner lobbies. Yeah. Yeah, Hub for sure kind of runs a terror through them, and like now that the the Wasty beginner friendly tournaments are no longer a thing, and I don't have like a criterion for kicking people out of lobbies, you know, when they're too good, I think Hub's definitely like teetering on the edge of like a little more than a little too good. Um, yeah, he's definitely just tearing people up. But Pudgy also put up a really good fight against him. I think uh, they went near even last time in the lobbies, so this should be interesting. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, likewise. So, just real quick, I'm going to, for clarification's sake, uh, describe the schedule of this event because it can be a little confusing. Uh, so first clarification is that the students are the only ones who will be actually playing Undernight, Inbirth, EXE, Laid, Claire. Um, the mentors will only be playing EL. No, but uh, <laughs> who's on mic right now? This is Lid and Rockhawk with me. So the schedule is going to be, we have the first set of students, Hubstyle versus Pudgy, and during that set I will have their mentors, Lid and Rockhawk here, um, on mic with me, essentially just doing commentary over this set. After the set, which is going to be a first to five set, um, we'll have the students and the mentors on mic with me retire to whatever Discord calls to discuss the set and go over advice and adaptation that they can offer, and in the meantime, we will have the second set of players on. So that's going to be um, Cat or Delay Based Neko, um, and Shin Megan Tensei. And during that period, during that set, another first to five, I'll have their mentors, Onyx Dude and Aria, on mic with me. And I will be giving the initial set of students at minimum 30 minutes to go over stuff with their mentors. So if Cat and Megan's set happens to go under 30 minutes, I'm just gonna waffle here on mic for thirty for until the thirty minutes are up to give the first set of students at least thirty minutes, um, and then after that, Hub and Pudgy will come back for a second first to five set to run it back and see if they can implement whatever knowledge that they've gotten from their mentoring session, and then likewise for the second set of students after them. Okay, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I mean, I understand I was rambling a bit just now, but hopefully that was understandable. But, okay, so, I gotta actually tell people the keywords, hub and pudgy, keyword is, okay. Okay, so hopefully this is working. Stream should be showing lobby now. I've sent the keyword to the players. Okay, we got a hub and lobby. Let me check and make sure I have the settings correct. Yep, looks like it. See lots of people in chat. I'm very happy for the support. All right, are you two ready? Lid, Rockhawk, hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, you yeah, guys can feel free to just freestyle steer the commentary wherever you want. I don't. Uh, I can just fill in dead air if necessary. But uh, you two are the character experts for this matchup, so. Yeah, I just had to mute for a second because uh, I don't want uh, there to be a dog barking jump scare again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. All right, ready then? Let's skip. Okay, so this right. is Chaos then, right? Yeah, Chaos Linnae, it should be. 
Okay. I was kind of assuming I haven't seen Pudgy play in a while. I think what I remember he was kind of jumping around characters. So I kind of assumed it was Biok now, but. Oh, he played Biok. He has uh, told me the last time that we talked that he was interested in the character, but I think that for the moment he's gonna stick with Chaos until he sort of gets a better hold of the game. Because mm -hmm. uh, originally he said that he had gone through a couple of characters, at least trying. Uh, he mentioned Seth, which I think I remember too from uh, some of the uh, beginner tournaments, uh, maybe in like, ooh, I don't remember, maybe the summer? Yeah, when he first showed up in the Lost DBFTs, he was a Seth player. I also vaguely remember a Phonon too, that he may have uh, been trying out as well. But that one I'm a little bit less confident on. So, I'd like to see what the neutral thing is here. Okay. So that's okay. I'm start out with the fireball, right? I'm kind of curious how this is going to go. Fighting Chaos kind of also depends on like, how much they know about Chaos and how much you know about Chaos. Because Chaos can definitely kind of knowledge check you and put you in situations that you feel like they're impossible to get out of. Oh yeah, for sure. And you it's especially know. important to be able to recognize the cycle too, against Chaos. Because mm -hmm. you can't just, if you give Chaos a cycle, right, then suddenly all of his stop options become way scarier. Because yeah, any of them, one of them can go to hail, right? He becomes a boss character. Yeah, pretty much. I did like Hub used the 5 Oh, that was a really good DR actually. And I like the recognition to, to actually try that tech too, because if you actually get thrown there, you're going to lose the cycle. So that, that's a pretty smart application for both players, I think. Uh, dead yet. Nice assault. Yeah, earlier there, Hub used uh, 5B to kill Ozzy. And Lene actually has some pretty decent moves to kill Ozzy with. You can't use A normals, so you can see all those. And Lene's 5B is 6 frames, so... Yeah, Lene... Yeah, I think also another thing that's um, really difficult to play around as Chaos is kind of roll, too. Because I think roll's a little awkward for actually just zoning in general. Because mm -hmm. if you have a dog behind you, then... Uh, you have to start pressuring yourself. Uh, and that's not the greatest position to be. Mm -hmm. I'm liking the use of chain shift to, to keep the pressure going by hub style. Yeah. Oh, nice 616. Well, that was a good route. That was good routing recognition though from the height there, I think. Oh wow. Wow, I'm surprised that caught actually. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh wow. Good tech, actually. Stand, actually tech the stand tech Okay. Oh, Mr. DP. Yeah. The grid cycle's getting close. Oh, I would like just concentrate there. Yeah, now you're a little late, because now the cycle just ticks. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah, wait. That's not gonna work. Just, just keep it tight. Yeah, just get I like that too, because you're just like doing like slightly staggered strings that make it hard to kill the dog, and then at, if she runs forward again, you can actually just pressure yourself, mm -hmm. and then just keep it as tight as possible. And you save your meter that way. So mid screen, I don't like that set as much, because that takes your T2 away, and your opponent can kind of just back away from it. But in the corner, it's a little bit better. Being knocked down. Oh, goes for the. Oh, oh, I like the strip actually. Oh well, he was good yeah, already, so he didn't going. really need. He didn't really need to do it, but I like the go thinking it. about it. Yeah. Did he get the next cycle though? Oh, yeah. I think he just ha didn't have any meter actually, because I think uh, if he thought that he still had a, a little bit of VO left, that he could have done EX hand. Punish? Oh no! That should be death. Yeah, Iwex, maybe? No! Oh, Mambo, tick the oh. okay. yeah, I don't hate that either. Those throws are not here. Oh, the dash of assault. Yeah. Really nice assault. Yeah, you can good assault. See that, uh, Pudgy's trying to use Because you gotta guess for game, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, Lene dashes up on you, it's, you know... <laughs> it's time to guess. Yeah, it's especially there, right? You're forced to guess, right? You can't just take that throw. Or even a TRM, right? Yeah. 
It's a bit of a shame. Uh, Pudgy's tick throws are a little too early, and he keeps getting gold throws instead. Mm -hmm. Nice combo on the throw, though. Yeah, that was, that was nice. Sick. Yeah, that was a nice conversion. I actually kind of shocked that the 62 a is still yeah. connected all the way over there, yeah. Oh, I missed the, the Lujin. Got the half circle instead. See, that's the point where I don't like the charge uh, a bit, because if you charge there, it's a little difficult. That's good there, because uh, you're in the corner, so the, the bite is going to trigger on their wake up regardless of whether or not uh, they like backstack or anything like that. So any mash is going to get eaten by that. Any DP is going to get faded because you can just block. So you bait a lot of stuff with that just two two a. It loses to delay tech very hard, but uh, that's something that you're, you can kind of be okay with sometimes in exchange for actually just beating like every option. Pop's gonna have to do something big here to make a comeback. This is the start of it though. This is, this is kind of guess for game. Oh! That's likely. Oh no! Could have blocked the Actually, game. actually, maybe just chip. Can we? Oh yeah, chip. 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 Yes, yes! Yes! Oh, that was perfect. My. Beautiful. Yeah, that was nice. That's the way I guess, to I guess I think we're allowed so. to be biased on commentary, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Of course. These are your students. These are your students. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, this is no formalism involved. Be as uh, BM and biased as you want. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm actually kind of shocked that you won that cycle. I think that a green shield whiff that it didn't look like he was intending to bait to me. Man, Chaos yes, nice. able to have a lot more blocks done than I think. Be careful here. Oh, nice. Ooh, oh. Yeah. Scary situation. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's really awkward. You're going to lose the next cycle. So I feel like you have to press or VO or something. You have yeah. to do something, I think, there to get out of that situation. Yeah, the 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 two A honestly wasn't a bad idea because actually, if Hub pressed five A, five A would have reached. But Lene's two A is actually pretty short. Um, so when you're mashing out as Lene, it's actually ends up usually being better to just press five A instead because they're both five frames. I see. I imagine it's kind of the same as like how I would play oh, like Yok. I'd like maybe going for slightly more stable routing. Oh, nice match. So I think we've seen hubs. We saw in game one hubs throws were working pretty well, but I think Pudgy's catching up. Yeah. Although what we have seen, oh, Pudgy's such doing... a good recognition there. He's kind of stole that cycle just by holding the dog there. Yeah, oh, I don't like, like that. Say that like, like chaos will like bleed a lot of grid right with yeah. obvious attacks, but you can also just not do the obvious attacks. Yeah, exactly. That's the because it's kind of uh, frustrating to have to deal with that because mm -hmm. if you're just sitting there like, all right, the dog's right next to me. At any point, chaos could just you know turn on the dog, and at any point, cause, you know, because you can just walk the dog forward while you're charging, right? So. Yeah, this is the situation we're seeing. Oh, oh nice. I actually like that idea, but uh, I would have liked it more if he did a TRM attempt, because if he TRM'd, it would have timed for a little bit longer. So he would have guaranteed gotten that cycle. Um, you would have nice. Him yeah, then we've been seeing, because he's been checking these throws, right? But it have been 1 AD or so. Hub is, uh, yeah. is ready for that. No, I still like the 5 e dash uh, throw. Think... Assault, the to cycle. Perfect. Yeah, that's all really well timed. Let's go EX Mujin or EX Kuga. So much minimum damage on EX Kuga. Yeah, it's so slow. Yeah, it's. Uh oh, we have downloaded Hub Style, it seems. We insulted at him in screen. Oh, Ooh. almost did the cross. Oh, Oh, I want to see a big knockdown. 
Almost. Almost. <laughs> Got the grid lead. Let's see what he does. Assault? Yeah, very nice. Oh, wow. Nice oh, the assault. Surround? Oh. I really wanted to see, like, a meter spend. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the staggers. The no cancels. I think it's kind of okay to uh, sort of give her that one cycle there. But you really just have to make sure that you're looking for EXTN, I think. Because mm -hmm. that's sort of the way that you lose that round at that from that position, I think. Yeah, we also did see, uh, I think in the first game, actually, that EXTN, Aussie can just block her. So that is something that that kind of, like, I think if Ozzy does, like, the, the DP, yeah. then he'll be high enough and just block all her uh, forward movement. Hmm. Which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Alright. Wow, that was a good setup, actually. Right, let's see what let's see what Hub does to win this cycle here. Goes to the assault again. Nice. Nice. Fair enough. Nice. Now you're leading the cycle. Oh my god, that throw! That was from so far. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're back in. Oh no! Wow. That's 60. No DP. Hub was trying to get EXDP there. Oh, I see. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm watching. I'm watching some Hub gameplay. Hub likes doing EXDP on the chain chips. Oh wow. I'm surprised Hub didn't push on that, actually. But it's a little scary to push on that, because at that range, Ooh. Chaos can 6C, especially just spend a CS for that. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I'd like to see him go for uh, a side swap there. And please spend your meter! Oh, please. Oh, the assault that time, okay. Oh, that's a really good That's throw. a dirty throw setup, oh my so god! <laughs> yeah. Alright, well Pudge is Because whenever you see the, the T2A, you expect it to come like, you know, uh... You're expecting to get thrown sort of later because uh typically uh if you're gonna get thrown you're expecting to get thrown into ozzy but when ozzy's so close the bites can trigger immediately so the throw has to be immediate <laughs> oh wow good throw you can not check there i think that's a because you're gonna be in gold uh throw range for so long Okay, let's see what a hum does here. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, good drop. I like oh. that shield attempt though, because at least you're attempting to win cycle. Mm -hmm. Trying to go into it at the last second. No! Oh, grid broke it. No! It was such a late OS too. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He blocked the assault. For the first time in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Hub's always had problems blocking assaults, he just needs to play more. Yeah, that's... It's especially, like, not as easy online, right? But... Mm -hmm. It's something you have to do. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, he didn't kill him! Alright, time to win. <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah. Alright, uh, it's, it's over. Oh, and he has his direction <laughs> right, too. I actually think he's literally doing this lose. No! Oh! If we don't Actually, uh, yeah, I would have killed if it all connected. Yeah, I think if we. <laughs> yeah, just keep it tight. No! no. Oh, man, I tried, I tried. Yeah. Okay. I like contesting around fire a lot more as Chaos once Lene doesn't have meter. Because there isn't a lot of stuff that Lene can really do uh, without the FCN threat and like. Uh, all of your options is chaos. Ooh, I would like to see delay 5C there, instead of immediate jump cancel. 
Because converting off that's a little hard, and I think 5C delay would have still connected. It's something that I do on counter hit when just like a 5 BB hits. Oh, oh, 5C no cancel? I'm so proud. Oh, do watch out here. That. Yeah. Nice oh. 2D. Hunt trying to cute after getting throw attack. Well, it's also, I think, good recognition of uh, that. Ooh. Nice strike. Good dash block on the 16. No. Nice attack. Okay, good recognition there. Yeah. Good throw attack. Got some throw attackers. Nope. Kind of throw. Oh, oh, he so just masked on nice. Wake Up. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to see a Neo strip here. Nice. Oh, yeah. Good recognition. Oh, I like this dagger. Another good throw attack. Nice block. Jeez. So we were winning cycle for so much there. I would have liked to see just a, like a, an attempt at just like Ooh. small concentrate oh maybe. Oh wow! What a man! Yeah. So a cycle there. Yeah, and he can't strip. A really good spot. That was a brave five a. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh wow. I like doing 2 6 B there, kinda, because a lot of the good approaches there are jumping. Uh oh. Uh oh. I wanna see like immediate. Chip, 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 chip. chip. Who won? Who won? No! Oh, wow, that was so close! Come on, there's no way. It was so close. That one was a little bit of a scam. Oh man. <laughs> no one <laughs> oh. That was crazy. Alright, but <laughs> it looks like Pudgy's running away with too. it, but it would have been good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Pudgy, Pudgy's up four one, but But the matches have been like very close. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have 2 speed there. It's kind of hard. I find 2 3 speed being one of the combo pieces that I end up missing the most when I don't have it. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hub has been doing a good job of rotating what he's doing on his throw points, I think. There we go. Not quite a kill though, but guess for game. Nice. What a confirm, that was sick. That almost looked like I did confirm, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's so you far. Might have to that rock off. I do back throw on that instead. Uh, of Wow. Well, this corner Bob pressure character. is kind of scary. Bob what the hell? Ah, <laughs> uh, that was a good I attempt there. I think you have to press a slightly bigger button though. Nice defense from Hub, by the way. Getting out of there. All right, now we VO. We have to bait it so we don't lose our portal. All right, can we get a strip route, please? No, we had two, three, six, A. We could have used it. No. Wow, okay, never mind. We're winning anyway. Unless we drop? No! <laughs> uh, <laughs> too far! Good attempt, good attempt. I, I, I wasn't sure. Yeah, it's like 2-3-C is like a super horizontal DP, but... Yeah. When you see that red mist against Chaos, it's a little awkward. Mmm. Uh... <laughs> oh, big drop! Oh, wow. big reset. Okay. Was that combo? No, it did not. 
Okay. Sweet. Nice. Oh, almost good dash block. Oh, that was a really good recognition. The mid air rebeats, they're so good. They're so cheap. All right, well, yeah, final score start. is 5 1, but that was still some good ass uni. Yeah, that was fun to watch. It's amazing. Yeah, but I thought good. that looked pretty good. These two were beginner players, like, not so long ago. Yeah, and we saw some strip routes. We saw a lot of uh, good recognition to actually change up what you're doing. Uh, good introduction of throw points and how to actually, like, change what you're doing on them to actually play the OS game, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm with Mocha in chat. I'm excited to see what uh, Lid and Hub can come back with for the runback set. All right, so then let's say let's see here. It is currently 5:31 p.m. my turn, my time. I don't know what the heck time you guys are in. So let's say uh, I'll add an extra like five minutes on, and say you guys come back at 6:05 my time in 30 minutes or so. All right. Okay. Good. All right. You are dismissed. I'll just put good that in chat. The, uh, good luck to the the future gamers. Yeah, good luck. We move! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so if I can... If Arya and Onyx dude, I think I saw them in chat earlier, could come into the VC. I, I probably should ping them, but... I'm not really good at this kind of... standardized, formal, formalized content thing. Central time zone is so based. It's okay. Oh, the squished Misa. The streamer isn't using my time zone. Is Michigan in Eastern time? I always used to think that the entirety of the Midwest was in Central time, but I guess not. Hello, Onyx dude. Hello, Aria. Hello. Hey. Um, Aria, could you speak real quick for me? I just need to check your sound levels. Sure, yeah. Uh, check. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, you're... Right. How's that? I think that should be good. Okay. So, we have... Uh, the next set is going to be... I'll just go back to the schedule real quick. The next set is going to be Delay Base Neko, a.k.a. BB Cat, versus Shin Megan Tensei. So, these two are both actually phone-on mains, but with Onyx Dude as her mentor, Cat, I believe, is going to be playing Merkava for this? Uh, I would definitely hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that's, that's the character you've been helping with. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, I can see the Aria memes in chat already. <laughs> All right, let me thanks, thanks, ping Steve. these two with the keyword. I believe these two actually do play a decent amount, but usually it's phone on games. Yeah, I think these two. I believe Megan was brought into my beginner lobbies oh, by Cat right. at some point. So these two were like friends before they started playing like in Wasty stuff. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So I've seen that name around, so I didn't. I didn't know. Mhm. Mm this is gonna be interesting for me. I've actually never seen Cat's Merkava. Uh, I did some uh, vlog reviews mm -hmm. uh, of her Merk. She's. Uh, I think last we left off, she was trying to get the ID combo down. Okay. Um, and she was asking about like how to like get dive kick out better, and I was just telling her, like, yeah, you just 171C, just do the little fuzzy dive kick. Alright, hold on, I just need to... Um, so this is going to be... Is it is the D in Onyx Dude capitalized? I can just look uh, at your name, it, okay. It can't be if you want to. No, it's fine, it's fine, I've this. Sorry, I'm like using a, a tool for the overlay stuff that I've never used before. Shout out to Imperius Club for adapting his tool for me. Oh, okay. And then it is going to be a delay based Neko. Oh, I'm gonna just swap things, but all right, it's what fine. Is, it's fine. What it's is fine. going on in chat? <laughs> they like you. They love you. <laughs> Yeah, all right, you're so cool. Speak more about things. So cool. <laughs> okay, I think we are ready whenever, as long as you guys are ready. Should be good, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and so as I said to um, Rockhawk and Evan, 
you I will probably be relying on most of you guys to carry the commentary since you are the character specialists here. I can fill air if necessary, but I think I probably won't need to since you guys are both pretty adept. So. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Good Sorry. Uh, how do you feel about this matchup? I know you have. How do your, I do uh, feel about this matchup? Yeah, you have your resident uh, merc player uh, Clem, who sometimes plays this character. How do you feel about this matchup? I feel like this matchup is um, it's very slightly Merkava favored. Uh, Merkava has a lot of things that Fonon has to do very specific answers to in this matchup, which makes it so that a lot of Fonon's like usual game plan just doesn't work. Um, so like 3C and 6C is just like really strong against this character because a lot of her bar options just like get blown up by that button. And then neutral is pretty difficult as well uh, for Fonon in this matchup just because. Mercado controls so much of the space better than Fonon does. Stuff like uh, grabbing hands and like uh, JP and that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with you. You basically set up what I'm say. Uh, also, I want to touch a little bit on defense. I think Merc, Merc's offense, uh, at least for the next ups, can be a little tricky for Fonon to get out of. But uh, Mercado does have a tool to get out of Merc. It's like, uh, Fono does 3C fireball and you just, just 3C over it. Yeah, 3C, 6C, both really strong. Dive kick is also really good against Fono. Okay. Yeah, Mega 10 does no uh, kill with 6 6C, so that's, that's good. We did just go over that uh, a little bit before. Yo, let's go dive kick, let's oh, go! Oh, the carrot, the matchup specific <laughs> mentor too? Yeah, I let her know that uh, if she sees Makaba's neutral going up, usually it's going to be 6 6 Shield that it'll be fine this time block. Oh, uh, yeah, we should get punished. I'm not sure what that wake up DDP was for, but uh, he goes unpunched. Oh, oh okay. okay. Go for the combo? Okay, baby combo. I'll accept it. I'll accept it. Right. So we're gonna be in here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're really good at doing that, but salt combo. Yeah. Went for the ID, but uh, got the unfortunately. Oh, okay. I wonder what. Megaton Good challenge, but didn't follow up. Okay, nice, there we go. Yeah, Megaton does have full- Oh, didn't finish the combo. So I'm gonna go to Cat as dive kick hits. Okay, we're gonna see once maybe? Oh, uh, no, drop the loop. Hey, okay, nice. Good dash block. Okay, got push. Oh. Uh, <laughs> special, let's go. <laughs> what a character. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's always great. Uh, people who don't like to see all of Mercado's gimmicks get hit by it for the first time. There certainly are a lot of them, yeah. Yeah. Smile saying, why does this Merc need a mentor? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, she asked him. Uh, it's like me and DHD are like really dedicated Merc mains in this room, so... Mm -hmm. uh, I think DHD only just got here like a couple days ago. 6 6 is all with Okay, that's what I'm really, uh, paying for here. Okay, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna that. Oh, uh, trying to go for the hard card. Oh, <laughs> that, oh wow, with the course one shit. Oh, if I lost the cycle, oh, she just, she just fixed it. Oh, nice beating. No conversion. Okay, okay, no fireball. Oh. Good throw, though. Okay, we won't touch you. Oh, uh, no, you can't dive kick there. I can't dive kick there, you need meter to threaten them. You gotta, you gotta threaten the potential yeah. wake up 2 3 6 before you can start going at that kick like that. Okay, at least you're on fireball, but uh, they got punished. Okay, I can see, I can see Megaton trying to uh, answer for that kick, but uh, kind of, these, these dive kicks are pretty bad. Uh, I don't even know. Wow, I, think, I don't think she's missed a single shield on that 6 6 that's pretty impressive. Okay. Oh, I'm surprised that combo stabilized. Loops? Yo, let's go, Loops! Okay, okay. no setup. Okay, wake up train shift. Yeah, that oh, was a good throw. He could have got a slightly better combo, but uh, in the heat of the moment, yeah, I'll throw, I'll throw. Just give you a knockdown. Okay, she does get the ID, but that's a kill! Cat! Okay, train shift. Okay, nice. Uh, 5A should be fine. That's a. Nice. Good for you. We gotta have a different uh, pressure percent. That's that 6 It's gonna shield it like every time. DB? Okay. 
Oh, no chain shift. I was kind of expecting a chain shift there. Just DP through that. Yeah, either CSDP or just ES cancel. Yeah, or even item. I know Photon's. Photon's DP has a little strange interaction with Mercs. Uh, 2 3 6 because uh, Mercs 2 3 6 is. I uh, have more projectile info than actual uh, strike info. <laughs> a lot of the oh. time, it's. Um, it varies a lot based on the distance and also how much the USDP uh, is delayed. Right. Okay, trying to go for ID routes, but not really working 100% of the time. Okay, chain shift. Oh, that's just no. Uh, out. DP, I'm not sure what that DP was looking for. Maybe trying to snipe 660. Um, neutral. Guys, we're doing a lot. She's trying to punish the uh, the 204A with DP, but she's just a little bit spaced too far out. Hmm. Because there's a certain distance in this matchup where you can actually shield 204A and then do an immediate BTP, and that'll catch Merkaba's um, extended hurt box on. Oh. 24A, the, the just slightly extended hurt box where he goes like, it goes up to like, I think his elbow, like, or like just past the, like, just past the sprite a little bit, not out to the entire arm. Okay, yeah, that, that does make sense. Okay, dive, dive kick? Alright. We're, uh, we're doing, dive kick, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing, we're doing more common things in control. Yeah, I do want to see what uh, other options Cat wants to present. Because uh, so far, most of her uh, pressure resets have been 6 6 Cs. So trying to catch like a low shield or like a low poke, but uh, yeah. Uh, Beckton, not really biting on it. Starting to go for stand shield like almost every time. Oh, that was definitely. Yeah, and like right there. Yeah. But you can definitely just like. Press buttons to like no cancel on it sometimes, or you can just go back to neutral, just fly away. Okay, knockdown. Don't get a combo though. Yeah, good DP. Yeah. That's the follow up hit to 63C tracks the opponent, or like the particle effect does. That looked really weird. Uh, I think it only looked weird because it hit uh, it's five seats. So. Uh, no meters. Oh, good CS though. Yeah, but no DP. Unfortunate. Yeah, no DP, no item. Yeah, no meter close out, so a little tricky situation. Chose not to chase the tech. Ten seconds left, so let's do something. Can't get to go in, can't go in, go in! No! <laughs> I like the patience there from Megan. Just sitting back and waiting. Wow, okay. That's a pretty good time on 6 6 BP, round start, uh, EP. Pretty common answer. I was, I usually just walk well, and let them do it, or at least we try to keep himself safe. Okay, six six he finally hits. Uh, you know, surely the eighth time in a row will definitely work out. Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we are going ham. Oh, missed the throw? Wait, how did that happen? Uh, no, you can't dash for five like that. You have to like dive kick over the first set. If you try to land on the second hit, the this is too active. Yeah. Oh, you shield it. You stand shield. You can actually punch that on stand shield. Oh. Maybe you can uh, uh, like shield as well. Maybe you can uh, uh, Yeah, uh, I don't know the exact frame data on stand shield on uh, dive kick. I just know like work more than that. It's at least still punchable. Oh, that was. I know it's a common misconception. People say like, "Oh yeah, isn't Murky plus on TK that good?" And it's like, not really. It's like very niche situations where it could happen, but they press like it's plus. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 no, yeah. You're not gonna press anything. Yeah, I'll press them. Okay, good run up. Good run up throw. Okay, dump meter. Okay, no worms. Just all pressure, all 660. Okay, I do cop a corner, but. Or even no pickup, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I see I see her going for the uh, the 4B pickup that we were going over the other, uh, just a little while ago. Ah, uh, I see. Oh no, he dropped it! Oh, let's go, Tech. 
Oh my god. Uh, somehow these dive kicks are uh, all just kind of working out for Cat. The dive kick is really strong against one on here. Um, a lot of these situations where these dive kicks are coming out, um, Megan is picking a lot of like the standard options that you would think to do here, but they all just like lose the dive kick. Oh, Stuff yeah. like um, neutral CS in your face, both characters have to pick an option and then go for the throw because like. You would think that's your passive button. Or your passive option, I guess. You just get blown by that kick. Same with like 2A. Because you have to press 5A there instead. Right. Oh, come jump. Oh, that was a late cancel. Huh? That's very minus. But you know, it's good. It's your nice 660 old fireball. Yeah, that's chill. Ah, uh, but 5A keeps coming out. It's gotta be 5B. Yeah, that exact sequence is quite out like. That's like the tenth time, bro. That's like happening. Peter? Okay, you can go in. She doesn't have any. So that's yes, it's not really running yet. Uh, try to press after uh, shielding five C. Or uh, that was a press, right? She she flashed, right? I think that was a press. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, ID. Oh, uh, okay. Didn't quite know what to do there. I'll sub over the two A. The push press there, I think on defense, like, generally as a is not as good as just matching 5 5 a will cash things like that a lot better. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe, uh, Megaton doesn't look as comfortable scrambling with Merc, as, as opposed to other characters. Uh, you do have to scramble against Merc a very particular way, because, uh, that kick can, like, that kick 2B, uh, yeah, for sure. 3C, 2, uh, 2 to 6C. You gotta have like those options like three, like up the three minutes here. You gotta know what to do beforehand. Yeah, the the Merc scrambles come in such a strange angle that it's a, it's a lot different from scrambling against other characters. That was weird. They returned to lobby. <laughs> oh, isn't fun on sixty speed supposed to be really good after blocking two three sixty? It can be, yeah. Uh, two three sixty. Oh, oh. Control okay. You're you're minus three there, uh, as the Merkava. So if you try and press something again, um, a lot of the times the six six B foot invuln will kick in in time. Depends on the button though. When does the foot invuln on six six B start? Uh, I believe it's like I think it's frame nine. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can't solve that. I'll confirm. Oh. We were just oh, yeah. no, oh, no, as long yeah. as I Yeah. Yeah, we're just we're just doing whatever we want. Alright. Uh Cat's probably feeling it. Uh she is up before games, so uh uh I wouldn't condone me, but uh Yeah, I'll teach their own I suppose. Kill the device in JC but no punish. Yo, what what the heck <laughs> is going on? Yo, we are we are taking actions. Yeah, press on those whiff dodge kicks. I mean, it's this is look. definitely rough for Megan in general. I doubt that she has much experience in the Merkaba matchup to start with. Yeah. This is, Merkaba is a character that kind of will just roll over and other players really easily with like all the the wild stuff Merkaba players can do. Like, yeah. it's, it's very difficult for, for newer players to um, figure out an answer to Merkaba that just want to 2 3 6 every time they have to yeah. Uh, he is knowledge check here. Uh, I wouldn't say he has the most knowledge checks, but he's pretty, he's pretty annoying dealing with knowledge checks, and even with the knowledge checks, he can still be pretty dumb. Oh, okay. Block 2 3 in the throw. She's good for sure. Oh, wait, that light's totally... <gasps> oh, it tied! Oh, that was a tie! <laughs> what? <laughs> I sigh. That was a, a non-1 HP tie situation? I've, I've seen that, like, maybe once. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. <there. laughs> okay. Is a meter on that? Yep. Yeah, yeah. spend a meter. Good. Can't shift. Block? Yeah, Good take block a block on the back. Turn, yeah. yeah, there we go. That's what yeah, I do know uh, Merc is also uh, a little enhanced by that play sometimes, so uh, might be a little bit of that play going on with these with five kicks. 
easy with dive kick and you don't really press the button. You're probably gonna get hit out. You can't go on fireball full screen like that. Okay. I can see Megton maybe looking to see where Cat is gonna choose that kick. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go, one on the board for Megan. On the board. Alright, that uh that little break there gave her some good time to think. Very serendipitous controller goof, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can see a little bit of change in her game plan. Uh, before she was kind of just pressing buttons, not really considering what Cat was doing. And now, she's kind of, uh, they're kind of catching on saying, oh wait, you know, she feels like a dive kick at random times. So let me just let her do it. And then, yeah. and then go from there. A whiff, but no kill! Oh no. Oh, I think those Rising GCs are definitely dead kicks. Ah, uh, done too fast. Oh, you can't do ID off this level combo. You have to uh, do the normal staircase in the dive kick. What are we doing? Oh, we, okay. CBO is uh, plus on block. You can't put. You can't press there. Uh, FF CBO is not something I ever said. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, uh, that's on, uh, match point here. Okay, just attack, yep. Ah, uh, yeah, see, yeah. Infamous, uh, minus four, two B, but I'm like way over here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did the, did the warm a little late, but you see, has to make stuff safe. And, uh, Cat, uh, not Cat, uh, Mekton does have Eater, uh, but yeah, it didn't matter. Ooh, alright. That's the end of that set. 5-1 for Cat. Alright, uh, yep, good job, Cat. Yeah, from my perspective, while it wasn't as close as the last set, Megan was making the right decisions such as shielding the dash C's and stuff, just needs to know to press 5B instead of 5A and stuff like that. Yeah, I think, um... I think she got a bit too spooked by just like Markava, Markava scrambles towards the end and just started playing a lot more passively and just let Kat get away with stuff like, uh, for example, the uh, the 2 3 6 on block into throw. Yeah. Or just like whipping yeah. a button after a dropped combo and then being able to just continue pressure because Megan didn't uh, want to challenge. Uh, how fast is Photon 5A again? That's a 6 frame. Right? 6 frames, yeah. Okay, yeah. You could definitely just. Even if you don't get the shield timing, uh, you can just press 5A. You can just press, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because yeah, worst case scenario, you take a turn. It might not be a punch, but you stop them from doing like that. Like Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, yeah, because you're just getting memed on. Will 5A uh, uh, hit the dive kick out of the air too? Yes. Yes, it, it should. Yeah. Yes. It's high enough. Nice. All right. So then now it is time for you two to go meet with your respective students. I don't really know, Onyx, dude, what you're going to say to Cap, but... <laughs> uh, I got, I got, I got something. I got some feedback for, uh... uh yeah. <laughs> some feedback? Okay, I, I hope it's some, some strongly worded feedback, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to very quickly make a fourth mentoring channel, just for the sake of having another one, and... Okay, sure. Okay. So, right. yeah, you guys can meet with your students, and then I will just kind of waffle around for 10 minutes or so before I bring the second set, or the the next set in. So, thanks for commentating. I'll see you guys back soon enough. All right, I'll see you. I'll be back for the second set. See you. Okay. Um, get Cat out of here. All right, well, that was a very interesting uh, set. I can't believe Trip is just waffling. Trip always waffling. I'm always waffling, I guess. Turn off the mods, we must be kosher. I've had the mods for so long, I don't remember how to turn them off. I'll have to I'll have to do it for next time. I'm very sorry. <laughs> waffling? Yeah, we're waffling. Yeah, okay, it's an interesting set. There uh the, the two sets thus far have been very interesting. Um 
I really liked the the pudgy hub set was very like good standard fundamental uni and then the uh, the cat Megan set was uh, something else entirely <laughs> Trip, what's your opinion on eels I'm allergic to them but I like them um, I there's a actually like a fairly interesting research industry about eels in that they're very difficult to like farm because um, eels traditionally only lay eggs in like abyssal depths like near the bottom of the ocean and they'll essentially migrate up to the uh, shallower depths once they've spawned. Never heard of someone being allergic to eels? It's just fish. I have a fish allergy. Escalators, escalators, escalators. <laughs> Sounds like a Minecraft farm? Maybe. I'm sure there's a Minecraft mod out there that has eels in it. I feel like I should set up like a, a casino of sorts, or like a betting thing in Twitch chat for this eventually. I don't know how to do it because I'm like surprisingly tech illiterate despite being very tech interested. Or not tech illiterate, I guess, but I just don't quite like care that much about like fan fancy stuff. I mean, you guys have seen my streams before. Um, before doing AFS. I mean, I don't, I don't do overlays, I don't do, you know, anything. My music's usually too loud. You have 36k channel points? Yeah, you gotta spread the wealth, I guess. We, got, we need an opportunity for jazz, for the triple down, trickle down jazzonomics. The whooper overlay was the best. Yeah, oh, that was the fanciest I ever got. Don't take my channel points, they're all I have. Can't take all of the jazz bones from Jazz, right? He's the minter. How do you do predictions? Is that something I can set up on the spot? Probably not, right? Get a mod to do it, smile. Dot sla uh, slash predictions? Oh, wait, how does that work? So you, you just type slash predictions and then what? Let me just Google it. Twitch predictions. Thank you for troubleshoot. Thank you everyone for uh, helping me uh, troubleshoot my stream as we waffle around waiting for uh, people that can become available for the next set. What are channel points predictions? All right, all right. Uh, oh, I have to do it in the creator dashboard. Sure. It should open up a window. Slash prediction. Open a setup menu. Enter. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 So, let's start a prediction for the next one. Um, who's... Um, and I will give you guys, like... I don't know. I said 6.05 to them, right? Alright, I'll give you guys uh, five minutes for this. Like this. Um, got it. Here, does that work? I'm seeing the jazz bones. Oh, I'm seeing a message pinned by Jazzrid. Pinned over the predictions. I don't, I don't see where the predictions are anymore. Oh, there's a hide for yourself option on the pinned thing. Alright, looks like Pudgy's in the lead so far, but it's still only the first minute or so of predictions. Yeah, I mean, I think definitely Hub has what it takes to make that make the, the comeback for the run back after a good bit of instruction from his mentor, probably. I want to put my 36k on up, but man. Brother Bear doesn't block overheads. Nah, he's blocking a few. If Lid's anything like Mo, he's probably just sitting there in VC forcing him to block assaults for like 30 minutes. <laughs> Turning on that one GitHub rep repo that like fucks with your internet connection like in horrible ways and then like bringing it to like a, a really laggy 30 frame game. 
Okay, let me set up the stream thing too while we're at it. So, hub style. There. Why lab blocking assault when Milia blocker is right there? Milia blocker doesn't work anymore. They discontinued flash. Does anyone else hear like the the DSL modem sound at like one part of this song, the UniL background music or the UniL like lobby background music? Are mentors allowed to have multiple students trip? I forgot. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only thing that I have barred thus far is a student making use of two, like multiple mentors within like their AFS set. Um, other than that, it's it's all free game. If you want to have like 18 Mika players that you play mentor to, sure, go for it. I'm like very, very pleased with how much like the mentor side of the sheet has blown up. I was expecting a lot of students for sure, but I believe we did a count the other day and we have like at least one mentor for every single character in the game other than um, Batista and Nanase. Those two. I'm sorry, Malarkey. No Nanase mentors. Oh my god, Hub has made the comeback. Did Jazz just drop a bunch of money on that prediction or something? Trip, uh, can I be in next time? Uh, if you can find yourself an opponent and you are, are free in like a convenient time slot, sure. No Batista mentor, I'm sorry. There aren't many Batista players out there. No, I can't have 30 Gord members, mentors. You can't have 30 Gord mentors for the same AFS set at the very least. I put Pudgy as my opponent for next time. I'd like to avoid having doubling ups um, or like having the same person play in AFS, multiple AFSs in a row for now. We have so many students, it's just like a shame to not, um, you know, sample amongst all, all of them as much as possible. This uh, overlay thing that Empirist has for his streams is very, ni very nice. He's even got like set it up with like multiple hotkeys for um, Stream Deck. I just have like my phone out in front of me as like a a jury rigged <laughs> Stream Deck. What about one mentor, twenty nine additional crew mentors for support? Oh yeah, yeah, you know, get your uh, roadies in on your AFS set. I think we are just about time for the others, so I'm gonna send them a message real quick. I should make a roll for like pair one, pair two, so I don't have to type out all of these ats at a time. What about a shadow, a board of shadowy figures as mentors and the student sits in a chair in the middle lit by a single spotlight? Can you get like, um, you know how in Kingdom Hearts, like Organization 13 sits in those dumb looking like gigantic monolith chairs? Get that essentially. Dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry to offend Jasmine. <laughs> Like in Evangelion? Yeah, yeah, like C's. Oh, 
Oh, I'm seeing them end their streams, so I think they're wrapping it up. Maybe. C's? I love Persona. Uh, was it not called C's? I don't remember. Alright, hello. Oh, welcome back. This is Lid hello. and Rockhawk once again. Hello. Perfectly timed. We both, like, joined in with, like, a second. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Was there a good set? Was there a barn burner, slobber knocker? Uh, it was a slobber knocker of sorts, yeah. Uh, Cat's uh, Merkava is very unorthodox, and I think I... any time that Cat plays, it looks like a slobber knocker because Cat doesn't want to block. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cat was doing like me me meaty dive I'm kicks. Thinking. That was all you. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. I know that the re the main reason that Cat picked up Merkaba is so that Cat could not block as much as possible. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, that's fair. Lene would be a good pick too. Cause... Yeah, Lene she could just, just hit FF. Lene gets a lot of that stuff for free too. Yeah. Well, she had him. Um, she, she... she was playing Lene for a bit. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I yeah, heard she... that too. I don't remember seeing it ever myself, but you can shield and pressure and then slam FF and, mm -hmm. and call yourself a genius. So the predictions are done, but I don't I don't know like what the result was. Oh, there's I, point predictions? I set up point predictions for the first time while I was waffling between the, the sets, and I, I don't know how to access the information from the is a creator dashboard? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't I don't see a prediction. Oh, no. I mean no, it ended before you guys showed up. Um, yeah, hold on. Um, let me, is it for the upcoming one? Right? Yeah, it's for the upcoming one. Yeah, let me try refreshing. Because I should at least be able to like because I assume it's still it's still like up, right? It should cashed out. be. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You just do prediction oh, again. Oh, okay. Oh, we got uh, a lot of jazz. We got a lot of jazz bones on hub. Hmm. It's funny because the yeah. number of people is like four to five hub to pudgy. But, yeah, but someone's got a lot more points to spend. Yeah, some uh, Arabian sheik. Yeah. Right. Oil Baron action <laughs> going on there. Okay, ready? We got Hub versus Pudgy. Once more, the run back. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see because, like, you know, playing a set and then oh, playing another the set and then, like, having 30 minutes. It's a lot to take in. Like, mm -hmm. you, realistically, Making changes. My cat just pressed hard. my power button. <laughs> oh, no. All right, hopefully that doesn't happen oh, during no, this set. Oh we're getting iced. All right. <laughs> Jeff is just pinning the message. Imagine if there is just like, all right, here's what I imagine would happen some sometime. Uh, I just imagine that during the thirty minutes. Uh, someone's just like, all right, let's play, let's play games until the next set. No, yeah, I just like went AFK for thirty minutes. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just said good luck and walked away. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine the advice if I came into your channels, like, hey, you know that EXCN button? You should think about that. EXCN is pretty good. I it won't, actually I won't, is just like. There's a chance Pudgy's listening, so you know I won't say too much. Too much right now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, well, I maybe I knew I knew it didn't come up in the last set. I'm like, there's no way that Lid doesn't tell Hub to say, "Hey, you should maybe use that EXTN button. It beats like all of Chaos's round starts." I mean, I don't. We remember if you remember we were watching that match. He used EXTN and then it uh, it what's it called? You know, Aussie body blocked it. So. Aussie body I block remember the so EXDP, cursed. but I don't remember it getting uh, body blocked that badly by EXTN. Actually, I wonder if the EXDP didn't reach it because of the Aussie body block. I don't really know how that. Yeah, that might have been it. Yeah. Because I know e like Linne EXDP, like out of the like the classic DPS, is like the most horizontal reaching one in the game in terms of like There's forward like, movement. Uh, like obviously. Smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the sheer, like, it has a lot of horizontal range, specifically. Mm. Mm. There is actually some situations, it depends on the normal, because EXTN has, like, a long duration. But mm. there's some points where, like, you can EXTN instead of DPing and get a full punish. But it's hard to, uh... Yeah. You kind of have to know, like, if you see us through, like, like a, like a, I don't know... 
what's a, what's a laggy like 2C? I'm trying to think. Enkidu 2C. Maybe even, <laughs> maybe even Chaos yeah. 2C. If you CS and Enkidu doing the startup at 2C, you can EXEN instead and get a combo. Yeah, well, EXEN is like 20 yeah. something frame startup, right? Yeah, it also only has yeah. invuln at the start of the flip. Once she's like halfway through the air, she doesn't have any more invuln. Yeah, that's why, like, you get, like, a big issue. You, there's, like, a bunch of really strange situations. Everyone always says that, like, EXTN beats Phonon EXDP even on the whiff cancel situation. But I've definitely seen Phonon EXDP win because it just doesn't have invul all the way to you, through. You just have to delay it. Yeah, the only thing about yeah. that is I'm not 100% sure. It might still have projectile invul mm. later. I think it runs out of full invuln and it might still have projectile. I'm not 100% sure. I'm currently going to... If Phonon EXTP is being in an all though, it has to have, you know... It has to run enough projectile invuln too. Because Phonon EXTP is a projectile. Yeah, so EXTN has invuln, full invuln for 13 frames, and then the rest of it is only foot and projectile. And so the projectile invuln okay. will last until active frames? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm. Okay, then it, then it should be like Phonon EXDP. No, I've definitely seen Phone on EXDP still win sometimes. It's more common for EXHEN to win, but I think you can just delay the Phone on EXDP so that like the startup comes after the start of Linnea's right. active frames. Yeah, maybe. That would make sense. Yeah, 6FF is definitely a move. Yeah. It seems really hard to time, though. Oh yeah, for sure. I was actually, um, I learned the other day, this this isn't really uni talk, but we'll just fill time until Hub shows up, but um, I've been learning a lot of uh, Melty Blood current code, mm. uh, and Ryogi in that game, her arc drive is like a, it, there's a super flash, and then there's three frames of startup, and it's a command grab. So most characters, you can just, you can just hold up during the super flash, right? But I found out that certain characters in current code, their last frame of jump startup doesn't have throw invul for just some unidentifiable like reason. One? Yeah, just the third frame. Mm. And so certain characters, like mm. CL for instance, can't hold up to dodge Ryogi command grab. Oh, so you have you, to time it? Yeah, you have to do oh, a one or two awesome. frame timed jump after this That's super flash. That's unblockable at that point. That's just unblockable. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be an unblockable. Holy. Alternatively, I think you can't just backdash it, but like still. <laughs> Wait, which Ryogi has the command That's awful. Grab? I think all of them have the same arc drive. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm thinking of the last arc. I remember that doing like 7k or something. Oh yeah, but the last arcs are all like hmm. they're shield triggered. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right, there we go. He's back. He's back. Arc drive finish. Which Ryogi are you playing? Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't play Ryogi. I actually play CL, which is why that's relevant oh. to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I understand. Okay. <laughs> There's also weird things where, like, um, some characters have, like, different startup on their neutral jumps versus their back jumps versus their forward jumps. And so, like, Aoko can't back jump it, but she can neutral jump it. Uh, that is, I'm just like. Game is just hella surprised. cursed. I'm just not surprised <laughs> at this point. Like, all the things I've just heard about Melty, it's just, it's like, yeah, mm -hmm. throw that, throw that in there too. Why not? <laughs> you know, I had thought about this before, yeah, but picking the the really stage as training stage might actually be a pretty good aesthetic uh, for the good. the mentor yeah, yeah. student <laughs> throwdown. Oh yeah. Look at the EU. Uh, yeah. The blue, yeah, the EU training stage. <laughs> Nice cry beat it at least, uh, awesome. Oh, wow, this is nice. Big man. Oh, assault over the... Yeah. What was that, 2B? Yeah. 2B. 5B dash, oh, big fan. Good match. Oh, big match. Alright, as, as I said before, I, you, you guys, you mentors, you can feel free to be as biased as possible on comms. Yeah. 
Whoops, kind of go. I don't know. I could say. Oh, we kind of got owned. You know, if you uh, jump under there and then carry him into the corner, you probably could have gotten a full comp, a uh, full like knockdown and damage. So that's something that I was just telling you. Uh, in situations where you want to throw, just do like assault. <laughs> I had I had a similar conversation. <laughs> See, it's okay. There, I think it was just uh, hub not block. Right? But... Yeah, those um, ambiguous assaults too are especially like difficult to deal with. Oh wow. Yeah. That's a situation where I do like to use. I would like to see a 2 2 A meaty. So once we did the one, I think that. I just showed him an easier combo from that two. Uh, oh, nice, actually. Because that's involved on startup for the dog. I hate this game. <laughs> yeah, so that's like the only dog move that you can't immediately challenge, basically. <laughs> Except for the uh, Vorpal Tails. That's like in the uh, most recent version of Persona, they made all Persona moves in Volon Sarda, which is just... Like for the Persona it itself. It. Oh, see, he just, yeah. he oh just changed God. it! He just slightly changed the routing after what I told him. Nice. Right. That's crazy. I couldn't fucking yeah. adapt, adapt my routing yeah. on the fly like that. that like. So hard. <laughs> Well, I think what it is is that he dropped the combo that he was going for twice, and then he's like, wait, I'm just gonna do the easier one that you just showed me. Because <laughs> I think 5C is easier to time, personally. Ooh. I think seeing any adaptation in this set is already an achievement. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they're playing uni. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, wait, that was so huge! I I'll have to show him the combo for that. Wow. Oh, oh my god, it's over! Oh. Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Just assault when you want to throw! Just do it! It'll work, I promise! <laughs> oh, oh what? my god! Jump back. You made him change OS! You made him change his OS! <laughs> the 171 OS! <laughs> Yeah, 171, that's it. Lloyd. Nice 662. This combo that Hub's doing, by the way, I did not know this was possible. Nice confirm, yeah. Great concept. Oh, I'll get the Actually, that was a good recognition to just spend your CS, too. Are you bucks? A little worried that. Oh, wow. A little worried that Hub might be thinking of too many things at once. Um, that can happen. Wow, what a match. Yeah. My turn lasts for, you know, 17 years worth of block strings. Your turn lasts one button, and then I immediately know. Yes! He's so good! He's so talented. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't let the winner meet with their mentor. <laughs> oh, wait, that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know, that seems oh, a little stilted. That's, little, that's, little, that's kind of sick, actually. Oh, uh, what if he did three sets? And then he... If I if I rotate the set players amongst each other, and then... <laughs> winners don't get to don't get to do prep. That'd be hard to like regulate. Though. That would be very hard. Uh, honor code, honor system. The up forward. Good five in. Okay. I'm trying to tell Hub to. Oh. Breaking the the options <laughs> one. Okay. Nice. I'll get to be. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, threw him out of the oh FF. Where are you going? Oh, <laughs> that was a fucking setup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if he converted off that, he would have been a god. Nice. Just. Man. Right. Oh, the meaty. Yeah, that was a good meaty. You should always meet a chaos when he doesn't have meter. And even if he does have meter, you can just fake Dio. It's actually really hard to get that meter off. Of. 
Wow, that was, that was fucked up. And that was messed up. Yes! Oh. He's so good! He's cheating, he's cheating. <laughs> the strike throw? That's cheating! You gave him the cheat code. Oh. He's so good! <laughs> oh my god! He's so good! He's so good! Oh my god! <laughs> not okay. <laughs> It's so beautiful. So I didn't actually talk about uh, EXPN with Button or with the uh, Hub, but I did talk about EXPUGA. Ah. Did, I'm hoping he uses a bit more of that uh, nice 2A or 2AA. Wait. Wait. Walk forward, stagger 5D. Why are yeah, these players so good? so good? Hold on. Yeah, that looks so good. <laughs> what the? That was so good. These players are better than I am at adapting in short sets. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, Steve, I thought it something I wish I could have talked about more, but I just felt like I didn't have Oh to. my god, that what wasn't yellow? Was that? What the hell was that? Um... I feel like I didn't have time to bring it up, um, and I'm afraid of it hurting more than helping in such a short time. Nice tick throw. Nice block of the assault! He's oh. blocking assaults! Oh yes, he had to win grid. That's such a good assault. That was a really good assault. I didn't teach Pudgy the easy corner routing. When he can get like get that corner out of Oh no. That block oh, was so I good. I oh was man. You could have restanced too and put him oh, back in the sandwich. That was so tragic. That was so tragic. He had the read on the run up, but Oh my god, god. he's still <laughs> He stole the corner. <laughs> I think Ozzy like accidentally pushed him out. Like that's really weird. Okay. Nice. Bro. Okay. I'd like to see, like, yeah, chilling for a grid a little bit, yeah. I like seeing the short strings when it's, like, time to actually fight the cycle like that, when you're long range trying to hold your space still. Where's his Chris? Script, probably. Nice. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that was a gold. <gasps> oh no! A gold! Yeah. Okay. Oh! What the heck was that round start no. option? Barely missed the, the confirm. That was a mistake. Oh, he's assault again. He's evolving. He's learning. Nice, 660. No combo, that's okay, we take the grid. Oh, I like the dash block on the change. That's nice. Oh, I got the 5 BP anti air wow. on the assault. Yeah. I think doing stand 5C is a little bit easier to react to that counter hit, but if you can jump cancel that on reaction 2, that's a better conversion. Ah. Uh, yeah, I was talking to Hub. Hub said that they they just struggled with getting the the six two three input on the on the left side. Understandable. Yeah. Or on the right side, doing it to the yeah, left. facing left. Yeah, they're I actually, uh, actually I have the same type player. of issue. Yeah. But uh, you, don't, you don't see too many uh, newer players playing stick. Yeah. Actually, I think Pudgy is also a sick player. Really? Okay. <laughs> yes. These two are both Texas players, actually. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen them together at the same local. <gasps> that's why it's that's also, also part of the reason why it's such a good like matchup for these two, right? Yeah, they get yeah, the great probably connection. Probably <laughs> Unless you get like some super cursed Texas connection. Oh, oh the sting attack. DP, nice. Yeah. It's them See, I think he them. might have just missed his T2A there. I think that was intended to be a T2A meeting. Oh man. Yeah. Nice to it. No. Oh, interrupted. Yeah. Okay, no, he knows he's routing. That was a good match. Okay. 
No! No! Is he out of right here? Oh! 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 Rago! No! It, okay, so after that 6 6 C, do 2 2 A. And you'll uh, hit them. Okay, okay. Good match. Where's the dog going? How do you get a patient going? Yeah, like like even in the like I'm not I don't mean like after the the clock I mean like even in the first set. Is yeah, acting well to what Hope is doing. Yeah, he's doing a great job of cycling his offensive options. Oh, the two C match again. That was really good patience for him. Mm, two of those here. Big! Nice. What a good CS there, actually. With the grid, how the grid goes. Oh! 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 oh. Very nice that's, hub. that's such a hard conversion, it looks like. Knowing that it was gonna side switch. So yeah, well, knowing the side switch and also knowing uh, the height for the 6C, right? Yeah. Uh. Does TK Kuga kill 2C Mash? Uh, uh, I imagine it yeah, does. Yeah, it depends what you do it after. I think up back Kuga is probably more better for that kind of stuff, right? Rather yeah, than you don't TK. Really, you don't really TK there, you would, you would do up back Kuga. Kind of like the Nanase up back Fireball input. But not as yeah. strict. Yeah, that nice far, That 5A reached from so far. That's what I was telling Hub. I, I was telling talking to Hub about 5A and I was like, wait, this button's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is way bigger it's, than I thought. No, this button's massive. It's bigger than her 5B. Yes, it is. Her 5B, uh, Jesus. Her 5B is... It's, bro. it's an R.I. but It's definitely nice in this matchup for Ozzy. She has good Ozzy killing buttons. Ooh, oh, what a good rusher. Oh, oh TRM, wow. That's crazy. That was, that was a chaos round. Chaos round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it happens. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I destroyed Ozzy! Oh, no, he just killed. Oh, you had it. That was Ozzy's jump scare. I've <laughs> never seen that before. Yeah. Nice! Oh! <laughs> Yes, nice just, punish. Just slightly too slow on the VO. That was so nice. Oh, he said you're not getting to do anything with this meter. Nice, that was good. Oh, there's no conversion. They're playing under my. <laughs> I'm getting so excited. Nice block. Oh, nice tag. Nice tag. <laughs> CS there, just get your little bit of advantage. The chain shift, oh my god. It's so good. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the slow teabag. <laughs> the slow, the world's slowest teabag. Yes, 6 6 He's dead. Hugged him the combo so many times. Yeah. Too late to end it! We have seen him drop a 2C there, so that was... <laughs> That was so good, that was so good. Oh no! Ah. Oh. Yeah, we can't, we can't block all from the Nice patience from Pudgy, that was sick. Wow. Alright. Ooh! Ooh! He's going for damage oh. grabbing. Oh. It wouldn't have killed, but I... I still think it looks cool when he goes for it, just because it's a hard combo. And I like to see people go for hard times. Great use of CS from Pudgy, nice. Yeah. Alright, Pudgy's up 4-2. But Hub's definitely putting up more of a fight this time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think this, uh, the first set too, could have also been like, a few games closer to Hub for sure, yeah. right? I mean, there were just a few times in the first set where Hub just missed a DP input and everything went downhill from there. So yeah, alternate universe. It definitely right. could have been four or five or maybe even Hub win. Yeah. So when you have pressure set up like that with Ozzy already behind, I'd like to see like dancing during pressure maybe. Wow, <laughs> the crack mash. Oh, no. but no confirm. That's another thing I talked about with Hub is that. 
wanted him to be more confident with his matches because we've seen these moments where like he'll tag with like a 2A or a 5A. But... There we go. That's the stance pressure I'm talking about. Oh, he almost had it. Okay. Oh, nice. that wow, throw. nice stick throw. Dude, what is that TK? Is that TK Ozzy? <laughs> the jump forward TK Ozzy 2 3 6 Yeah. <laughs> Someone pulled that out on me. I'm like, bro. I'm not ready. It's, it's kind of easy to get on accident, I think, on, if you're, especially if you're playing like stick. Mm, true, true. Oh, big five. Two. It's a nice starter. It's gonna be good. Nice assault. Oh, oh wow, that was a good one. <gasps> Ooh, oh, I would this. like to see just like a yes. So like, oh, you, you can do this route. Out. No. No! The scream from Rock! I saw the VR and I was like, no! That's so sad! Holy shit, that throw range. Ooh. Oh, a good match. Man. Yeah, 5B is not that great from that range. Yeah, no. 160 meters. Good patience on the cycle. A dash on him. Good dash on him. Mm. Unfortunately, oh, lost more space. Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice the assault on cycle. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Big stagger. Yeah, the close up conversion there is also. Oh, the pit. I don't know if that was a punish. But it might have been. Yeah, I don't think that punished. I think that was a little too slow. I think Pudgy could have blocked. Maybe. It looked so close. I'm not sure. I think, uh. It was close enough that I think it could have been. Yeah. All. I think Pudgy hit a button there. Maybe, maybe. Oh yeah, cause right, cause Hub did five A, so we wouldn't there wouldn't be a. We counter. wouldn't have seen the counter hit. Yeah. I was thinking that he had the five A. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw the startup of uh, Chaos two B or foot two A or something. Oh, it's such a dirty throw. No, yeah. Just about those. Chaos just gets a dozen throw points during his normal pressure. He's really just jumping back in these throw situations. I mean, you can't get thrown out of jump star, though. Yeah, that's it, true. It, it worked, right? Oh! That might have not even been a whiff punish. There's no... <laughs> uh, <laughs> no counter hit. Uh-oh. Get that. Pudgy was definitely ready for that. I... So, it was so close. He had the right idea to, like, try and win Vorpal, but it was just a little later than it needed to be. Mm -hmm. Oh! <gasps> Wait, that stagger timing is hard. That is, yeah. Linnae's staggers are pretty hard, right? Just her normals. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, you have to block that overhead cross oh, behind. Uh, oh my god! Oh. That looked really funny. As I didn't even, uh... We didn't even talk about vegan. <laughs> he just used it. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, good attempt. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, backing is too powerful. It is really strong. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Oh. Not the CC. That's unfortunate. Oh, Chris Cycle getting close. Okay. I think if you're uncomfortable on defense, you can also just spend CS, even if it's you know. Wow. This is a this is a way to make yourself like catching stand Yeah, yeah. catching stand type. That's the use of Linnea 2 AA right there. Yeah. Oh, oh what's our swap stick at the turn? Big great game from the VO. Yeah, it's a little tough to challenge like cycle like that once you're plumped in the VR. Oh. Rock Hog didn't teach him the OS! <laughs> oh, block. I don't know I see that. <laughs> It's so stubby. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes. Oh. oh, he just oh. did it. Just rag him. Yes. You got. Oh, oh. Get him. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. No. Yes. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> the only way you lose oh, is getting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs>
people scrambling to invest in Hubcoin. Holy. That's the only way you lose that round. No, no. Oh. Holy. Oh, no. Deep breaths, deep breaths, both of you. Alright, 4-4, four, four, last game. This is a hell of a runback set. Let's see how it goes. Oh, dash C. Dude, that's the second time he's killed Ozzy on startup. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's early. What if, uh, that's the he's cycle? Oh, big me. Yeah, this is a lot of damage. Oh, nice. oh, 3.8. And CS? Yeah, this is. Yeah. Ooh, Chaos, oh, round. Chaos round. Chaos round. Yeah. Let's see if Pudgy can keep this momentum up for this last round, potentially. Yeah. Alright. good looking round I like that 2C. Chaos's 2C is massive, by the way. 5C is also a bigger of a button than it feels like it should. Yeah, I would agree. The real question is why is Chaos 2A a low and why is 5C 10 frame startup? It's 10? Oh, I, I, was, thinking five. I was thinking 2C. Never mind. <laughs> Wait. That was nice. certainly an option. <laughs> That's yeah. interesting. Right. That works, yeah. Nice assault Ooh. to keep the grid up. I love that distance that he's using 5C at. Yeah, that's like the perfect distance. Yeah, that helps assault start up, I think. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Wow. Good throw. Yeah, that's a nice throw. Some plus frames there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice. Killed the dog, but immediately got him back. Yeah, wait, that's fucked up. <laughs> But he's dead for three seconds, it's so long. Last chance to hug here. Ooh, yes, let's go! And Rock. I think uh, that exact thing too. And Pudgy Rock Hawk, throw. take it! Pudgy, Pudgy oh, dialed Oh man. That was a, such a good set though. That was a really good <laughs> set. Oh, that was, that was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, that was such a good, oh, that was a good set. Good stuff to both players, and of course, good stuff to the coaches. I mean, there's definitely adaptation on both sides. It was so obvious, and and the commentary was a lot of fun for the second set specifically. <laughs> yeah, that was that was great. Yeah, that was that was so much fun to to commentate. Holy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm glad that this is just hear... as fun for the mentors. Yeah. Yeah, you could hear how how proud Rockhawk and I are of, of certain things that would happen. <laughs> uh, yes. 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 It's layer two. It's layer two. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there is a. I, it just brings me back to like, there's a moment too at uh, CEO Taku when uh, it was me and Mouse and I, that guy, were sitting in the crowd watching uh, one of the top eight matches. I think it was like Rakira versus uh, Pesto or something like that. And we saw like someone grid sh uh, not take a green shield throw punish to bait a grid thrust that didn't come and I just immediately put them on layer four and it just looks so amazing, right? It's like that type of stuff that is just like so incredible to see. And that's like, you know, the stage of getting to that level at, you know, this early in development is such a nice thing to see. Shout out to Jazzard for managing the prediction for me. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Jazz. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. It looks like we next got the player. Yep. Yeah, looks like we got yeah. the players to the next set already. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, but I'll have to have you guys duck out. Maybe I'll, yeah, we can have everyone one. back in uh, at the very end, and we can get some discussion. But for now, yeah, good. Yep. Yeah. All right. See you guys right. perhaps later then. Bye -bye. Yeah. Thank you again. See, See you ya. around. Great set. Oh my god. Hey Arya, hey Onyx. Yo, yo. Yo. Were you watching that set just now? Yeah. I kind of got the, uh... I caught the end of it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously you guys were, uh... <laughs>
focused on mentoring and stuff. It was it was very very exciting. And let's let's see how this next one uh, shapes up. I got to do the stream overlay stuff, but honestly, just ready whenever. Oh, I guess I gotta skip, but it'll do that naturally oh, enough. Crashed. Oh, okay. Oh. I mean, she's still in the lobby. Huh? Oh, screen, screen stops being black. Okay, sure. Okay, we're good. And then obviously we have Aria and... All right. Did you guys have a productive session? I think so. Okay. Uh, I, I definitely believe so, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I'm looking forward to how this one's gonna evolve because the... There's so much that could go differently, for sure. Yeah, I don't oh, yeah. know. Oh, I accidentally pinned one of Lid's messages. You know what? We're fine. That can be pinned. <laughs> yeah, if uh, if uh, SMT was able to uh, consistently stand shield 660, I, I can only imagine that uh, what I've already said uh, definitely enhanced their gameplay, because I, I was seriously impressed by how consistently they were getting that. It was crazy, yeah. Yeah, uh, so that's how you know they know the, they, they know a little bit about the matchup. They uh they kind of fail some other knowledge checks, but uh, the six sixty knowledge check is pretty important. Yeah, for sure. I don't even do that part. myself. Oops. Prior prior to um to this set starting, we did, we did go over um how much Mikawa BC and six sixty body phone on, and like how to identify both and what to do in which situation. You guys use my uh, anti merc talk. Oh, we didn't. I, I used some, some of my personal notes that I wrote up, but I should take a look at that uh, as well. Yeah, right. Arya doesn't need your anti merc talk. He's got one his own, of his own. Yeah, he gotta, he's got to fight Clint like every other... Like, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> That's <laughs> fair. Bro, when I fought Arya at Climax, and uh, he told me about the anti uh, Clem tech, and I got hit by it, I was like, oh, I, I understand now. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Let's go, Arya. Complicate my marriage. <laughs> that was a big Steve. Where did this even start? <laughs> it's a long story. It's it's a really long. Story. Oh no. <laughs> I'm still catching up on all the uh, Vancouver uh, inside jokes. Dude, over. I mean, I, I I met Arya in person at Climax. He's a good-looking guy. I could see it. Like, <laughs> I said offhandedly to someone the other day that uh, Arya looks like a Ken Akamatsu manga protagonist. Ooh. Oh, what? <laughs> like the author of Neguma. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Cat's uh, Steam is messing, messing with her. Mm, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, shoutouts to Fake Steve Fan Club. That's what. Uh... That was our team that we registered for the Climax and Night Team tournament. <laughs> Yo. So it was me, Riddle, and Casey. Casey hates Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't uh, hate each other. They, they have a lot of banter, but... Yeah. I thought it was really funny to, to sign Casey up, because uh, I, was, I was the team leader. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> and you got to pick so. the name. <laughs> yeah. I got to, well, I no, mean... The, the, story, the story behind the name was... Uh, uh, we, we, we arranged the team in, in the Wa Uni Discord, and after we put the team together, I was like, ah, shit, we need a name. They don't have a suggestion. Fake Steve immediately chimed in with Fake Steve Fat Club. And I was like, uh, okay, any other, and it, I'm going with that unless we have any other suggestions. And then no one else said anything, so we registered it as that. All right. <laughs> oh, there she is. This case is a rank for, uh, mantra for the uh, PW Uni scene. That's true. Not I'm entirely. slightly different mantra for Casey. Uh uh. Because how <laughs> I would choose to communicate. I met Riddle at Climax. He's a really nice guy. Never thought I could be friends with a with an Aurier player, but I, I guess I guess miracles do happen. Well, lucky for oh, you. Yeah, uh, he's a he's a he's a chaos player now. He's a chaos player. All right. Wait. No, I still yeah. hate that. Well. <laughs> 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 is there is there a character he is there a character I could have said that would make you not hate him? Uh. No. <laughs> I, I think you yeah. need to. I need you to understand that playing Enkidu is just suffering sometimes. Oh yeah, and it's okay. There, we, we, all play, we all play anime fighting games. So yeah, we all just hate the whole cast. I don't know. I think okay, Seth. I'd be fine with Seth. 
Okay. I have That's a fine. ton of matchup experience against Seth specifically. Shout out to Jazzrid. <laughs> yeah, Jazz carrying the uh, Seth scene on his back. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah. He's put out a lot of resources and everything too. Okay. Oh, that was very uh, interesting round start. I did. I did tell her about um, some of the round start options. She did the walk back four B slightly too early there to beat the five B. Oh. But normally, if I would just round start five B, you can do walk back four B and just beat it outright and get a whole different cost. Right, because Mercap 5B doesn't actually hit at round start distance, right? It like, or not it immediately does. at least. Uh, it it, does. it, it it's exactly back. round start distance. So if you walk back just slightly, you can make it with mm -hmm. punish it the same way you would punish Sean or you hit thrust as well. Or Seth dash C. Uh, Seth dash C, I just jumped over. Uh, <laughs> you can just walk back against Seth dash C, I'm pretty sure. It'll just whip right in front of you. It looks really funny. I think it depends on your character's walk speed. Yeah, I was but, say, Merck, yeah. Merck's walking is uh, actually tied for the worst in the game with, uh, Seth actually. With Seth, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I don't, I don't walk back, I slide back. This is more good. Okay, speaking of grid, uh, yeah, it does have the cycle. Okay, yeah, there, there we go. go. Okay, well, yeah, we, uh, we, we did do the 5 check. I told her that, for now, don't worry too much about trying to go for the 2 to 6 C shield punish. Just take your turn. Just press 5A and make sure that you don't let them get away with shield punishments. Four. Yep. Okay, no train shield to pervert. Oh, that was... Oh. The dash up, I can kind of understand, but unfortunately it doesn't make a whiff if they choose to do nothing. Megan's looking a lot more confident with her buttons. That's another thing that we went over during the recess, which is... Um, be more assertive in this match against family situations and like, Oh, let's go 3C! Let's go. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> yeah, let's go, yeah. Yeah, uh, and like I said to Rockhawk and Lid, feel free to be as biased and be him as, bi as you want for the second <laughs> set. I just want this to be like you guys like yelling. Alright, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, nice match out, let's go. Oh, double combo? Oh! Uh, you're oh. done. Good combo! Spin minute, bro! Yeah! <laughs> oh. uh, there we go. It's so big. <laughs> so big. It's so plus. It's so plus. It's more. It's plus on shield. Who made this game? I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Playing as Merkava, I feel like I have the worst like time trying to win back grid during block strings. Like you just cannot shield during the versus this character. It's really weird. Considering how at any moment three C or four C can just hit you. <laughs> Yeah, it was really scary too. Oh, okay. I started something interesting. Yeah. Rook also has some surprisingly good options for no cancel and then just go for strike throw or assault. Good tech. Oh, double concentrate? Okay. I think that's a combo. Probably, yeah. yeah. Ooh, nice. that should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, good counter hit, good counter hit, 5C. Okay, dash block? Oh, yeah, nice, good. Oh, uh, move out the 5C. Woo! Oh. 3C punish? Oh. 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 6C, uh, that's yeah, a true push. Oh, yo, that is, that's my goodness. That kick? Oh. Uh, yeah, pursuit, press. No, don't go there. Oh, JA, okay. That's introducing some uh, new scrap options. Trying to keep it, trying to keep it, uh, trying to mix up with it. I like it. Okay, no, watch out for it. Watch out for it. Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I hate these Merkava players, man. <laughs> One brain cell. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if everyone wanted to know what goes on, everyone knew. Everyone knew it. Everyone, knew it. everyone in chat knew it too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I want, yeah. I'm like, I'm really those. I'm gonna understand. Okay, new meter. Yeah. Yep. Mm, okay, it's the cancel. Okay. okay. Oh, mm. oh, you got first there. Salt. Okay, repeat pressure. CS? Yes? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. CS, yes, yes. That's it, that's it. Okay, yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it. No! I know, that's fine. Oh! oh. 
Juicy on wake up. Wow. Okay. Okay. Probably was supposed to be a CDP or something. CDP would probably make sense. Yeah. Cause I have gotten three C on wake up trying to do CBTP as well. Yeah. All, all Merc plays are in fact the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are buffering another two three six C. If you don't punch us. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh my god, that 2C reach from so far! That definitely hit Brooks instead of hitbox. Okay, what are we doing for a Oh, dash 5B? Yeah, that, you can't, you can't dive kick 5C like that. Okay, bar 2C. Uh, SMT okay, does have meter and CS though. EB? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we have meter 2. Yeah. Okay, take, a a turn. Right? take a turn. Nice. Yeah. So, oh no, not confident enough. Okay, nice move, nice move. Uh, I should try to see us on wake up. That's fine. Dash block? Yeah. Get in there? Ooh. Nice. Run up shield. Not entirely sure what she was looking for. Maybe a fireball? Maybe a 5C? Uh, oh, 5A nothing. Crab kick? Okay, good, good, good. Oh, uh, didn't know the ender. That's fine. Okay. Oh man, these 5A, you no know, confirms on 5 A's. Nice stagger. Nice, 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 nice. Good staggers. Yeah, we were working on that too. Very nice. Okay, okay. Spock, Spock, okay. That's fine. You gotta, you gotta get closer. Make it. Oh no, you can't do ID from there. Okay, oh, good oh, oh. That, was, that was a good time count, yeah. Watch the meter, be careful, okay. Cat has the pull, how's she gonna spin that? Press yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that hit right on top of the front on Ted, that's very much cool. Meter? A meter? Okay, yeah, 5A. It's, it's, a, it's good recognition on Cat to uh, change up the wake up uh, CS up. Now that uh, SMT is respecting wake up 260. Yeah. Okay, a meter, concentrate. Put down meter again, concentrate again. Oh, uh, you could uh, you could have twenty four eight. Yes. Oh man. Okay. Six 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 coming in. Nice. Okay, you got this. Nice convert. Uh, okay, nice. Cast okay. gonna get the not enough here for a super. Nice two C. That was such good a good back deck. Okay, don't wake up two six. <laughs> 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 well, alright. She knows better than me at this point. I think I saw the glow of a concentrate for like a frame there. That was probably supposed to be wake up CS. Oh. oh okay. okay, no shield. Uh, no shield, but no, uh, no idea for this fight. So it gets the combo. Okay. Uh, you could have put down a little bit here. Uh, illegal combo. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. No, we can back dash? Okay, that. Damn, you think you can press after Mercala backdash? That shit's like 40 frames long. <laughs> yeah, that's, that would be interesting time to press, but uh, you know, not a bad option to represent. Just, just know that you can't you can't press after it. <laughs> or if you're gonna press, you might as well just hop over there low because they're probably gonna blow you. Oh, okay. oh, okay. That's a 60. I see. Oh, no combo from 60. Okay, nice, yeah. I can see uh, mm. what players are changing up what they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, last sure. I've been missing the score count. Uh, I think it's uh, 2 1 cat right now. 2 1 cat, yeah. 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 yeah Worst uh, case scenario, you can always see the, the scores at the end of the game. Oh, great broke. Okay. Probably red A six six C. Yeah. Yeah. I saw, I saw the top four moving over. Yeah. That's something I did tell Cat that uh, if you're assistant mm. uh, six six C, fix it some rules if they're just gonna stand shield like that. Oh, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit rago here. Yeah. We are. Uh, oh, nice bro. Okay. Yeah. Three C. Maybe. Block. Yeah. Yeah, let's oh, go to be so good. Yeah, no, we are, we are <laughs> back dashing. Oh, okay. You can die nice. by the <laughs> She's too nice. How did she know? Okay, did she, did she know? She knew. Okay, wake up to a okay, uh, I can't say I totally agree with that two-way match, but uh, it worked out kind of. 
Oke, okay, sudah DP. Oh. Oke, ya. Kita What the fuck? Oh! Oh no! Oke, okay, ya, yeah, oke. Okay. Nice, nice combo. Works six six easy one. Yeah. Yeah, Isn't that shit is, like uh, minus one or something? It's minus two, and it's exactly, it's basically Mercs 2B, but it's dashing. <laughs> so it's all the same properties, including the second hit that's extremely disjointed. Which means it's also seven frames started? Yeah, it's also seven frames What the started. hell? <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair, back in like the eight, like 1840s, when uh, EL was being played, uh, that, shit was like, that shit was like minus nine off lock. Uh, uh, was, like, to be fair, it used to be like, worse, but now it's busted. Yeah, it used to be <laughs> Uh, he's really okay. nice. Why would he make it Okay, yeah. Good staggers. Nice, that was good great staggers. staggers. Nice. Let's go. Alright, Cat, I'm gonna need you to block and then. Okay, okay. Meter, meter. Oh! Oh no! Okay, here okay. yeah, yeah. Spock, Spock, Spock. Okay. Oh! Nice staggers. I'm not sure what Cat's doing with uh, BDP. Special wake up. That's not a real BDP. It's no, it's no end wall. It's just, it's just a, it's just a reflex anti -air. Is it actually useful as an anti -air? I feel like I've never seen yeah. anyone do anything with that in neutral. Oh, nice dash under. Ah, uh, unfortunately, just wrong. It, it is, it's pretty, it's pretty good. The problem is that uh, some characters can go around in the air to avoid it. Yeah, if you go right above Merc, it's kind of weird. Mm. Okay, that's the loops. You got the loops? Oh, oh no. so Okay, we got Worms. Nice uh, tag. Yeah. That yeah, was a tag. crazy tag. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, you can't throw firewalls there. That's okay. Alright, we're DPing. Let's block. Let's block until the exchange shift. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, you know, that, that, was, that was a fair attack. Yeah. Oh, uh, interesting trade. Well, oh, I should have told Cat mm. that uh, if, if someone ever jumps, just press 2 on Uh It is air unblockable, they'll probably fall into it. Okay, okay yeah, good combo. Oh, we got a media after us. Oh. Okay. Was EX Worms part of your uh, session, Onyx? Uh, no, I did not talk about Worms. Oh, okay. Bad kick, bad kick. Okay. Nice. Oh, Yo, but no punish. punish. That oh, sucks. No. Okay, do you know the combo? Oh, you yeah, know the combo. Okay. What are you gonna do is block. You gotta, you gotta oh. like, hit the seconds. Yeah. 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 I may stop those that case. Let's go. <laughs> it's too good. The Swiss Army knife normal. Yes, yeah, stay away, stay away, stay away. Okay, block. Yep. Oh. Ah, okay. It's yeah. so hard to focus on dash blocking and end up like just eating an overhead. Yeah. That's that's the uh that's the tricky thing about this matchup playing phone on into Makapa is you have to adjust your dash blocks to be like six AB four, six to, instead of six AB one for a lot of distances. Just so that you can dash block and still block uh your C and like six C. Oh yeah, two C Hello minus one block. The leg is gonna win over here. So dive kick. Yeah, let's go let's go disjoint. I was kinda hoping that next turn would press, because that too was gonna come in, which she did. Oh, it drops. It's too high. I did bring up the pillar um, during our mentoring session between the sets, but I think Megan doesn't really do B pillar very much normally as part of her usual game plan, so trying to get, like, adjust that on the fly and do more B pillar without having like the snap B pillar muscle memory would probably have been doing more harm than good, I think. Oh, Ralph's are yes. Not gonna work out. Alright, can we do the loop again? Oh, drop the last one. Here? Yeah. Alright, you're gonna win the cycle. Sorry, that was my phone. Okay. Ah, I didn't hear a thing. Okay. Okay, man. Oh, let's go. Oh. oh no, not too late, not too late. Alright, just, just relax. You got this. Spot, this spot. Ooh! The green oh, shield whiff! That was so scary! Okay, that was, that was spooky. Oh, oh no, and Cat's gonna take it. I mean, 
Yeah, Megan made some really good adaptations. And I it's... think, the, yeah, I think the adjustments between the first and second set were really good. It was really, even though the score ended up being the same, um, the games were a lot closer this time around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm also inclined to agree. I mean, Megan did a really great job of just making sure that Kat didn't get away with the same nonsense that she was getting away with in the first set. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I definitely saw that. I was also telling her, like, uh, look, they're probably going over exactly how to shut down your gimmicks. So you might want to be ready. You might want to be, you might want to be ready for whatever. Because <laughs> they're probably going over it right now. <laughs> and I didn't comment on it at the time, but when Ario was talking just now about how, like, you know, he mentioned B Pillar, but realized that, like, it'd be hard to implement that in time and stuff. Like, that's the kind of thing that is, you, I think, as a mentor, is the hardest thing, right? You, you know, you have counterplay, but you have to lab at first and stuff so being yeah. able to within that 30 minute time span figure out exactly what your student can do in that time and being able to implement it in time is like it's very important i think so i think personally i think the event is kind of harder for the mentors than it is for the students obviously the students are fighting for their lives out there but it's, it's at the very least just as hard for the mentors because they have to be like so good at figuring out the most effective way to like adapt to the opponent Yeah, I agree. It's 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 tricky because there's a lot of stuff that you know that it's like, okay, this will work here, but like, are they able to do this if I just tell them right now? Because we have like 30 minutes between the first set and the second set, mm -hmm. and like having having to think about something and then do it at the same time in in the second set is is really hard for people to implement, um, just like on the fly like that. Because a lot of people they take a lot of time to like implement new things in their game plan. Yeah. I'm gonna People see if I can get Lid and Rockhawk in this VC too, just so that we can kind of share in the discussion section. But yeah, and also commentary was, it's just so much fun, like doing commentary for the first set with you guys and then seeing you guys coming for the second set and you're just so much more animate and going like, oh shit, yeah, I taught him that. I taught her that. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my tech. Uh, hey, I, I, do, I do wanna also uh, say on the topic of uh, applying things mid set, uh, it, it, it is, uh, it's also can be a little hard because, you know, you got 23 people watching you all chatting, all rooting for you. Well, for the most part, I didn't see anyone actively rooting against anyone, but, uh, you know, there's a little bit of stream pressure. That's also true. Yeah. Knowing that also the people who taught you stuff is like also watching as well can add a little bit of pressure. Uh, so I do want to say good stuff to all the players uh, who played in this and, you know, Putting yourself out there, it's not, it's not easy, so oh, uh, get sure. on y'all from putting yourself out there. I mean, all four of the players today, like, they not, they didn't start in my beginner lobbies, but they've been growing in the beginner lobbies and stuff, and they have definitely are playing, like, leaps and bounds better than they were when they initially joined. And so, you know, having the initiative to be like, yeah, I want to take part in, like, what is essentially an exhibition is a really big deal, I think. It's, like, a huge step forward. And everyone just played, like, super well. I'm very proud of everyone. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah, I was really happy about uh, this the stuff that I saw today. So yeah, it's, it's really nice for sure. Yeah, and obviously I'm I'm super like happy because like I feel like the I've watched like for two or more years now at this point that the uni community is so so on top of wanting to help other people like especially beginner players and stuff. So I think this event is a lot of fun. People really get to flex their both their mentoring and their just play style or playing muscles, and uh, it's also just a good bit of fun in general. So if uh, if other people in chat want to give this a try on either side of this whole thing, you know, join the Discord, sign up, and figure out opponents, mentors, students, etc. And it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I definitely had fun uh, being on here. Uh... Cheering for Makava, cheering for Cat. Uh, I'm always happy to see Makava do some BS. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is also like your uh, this is your license to be super biased on comms for once. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it's an exhibition, you know. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It, it's not just an exhibition; it's your students' exhibition. You yeah, raised exactly. this person. It's a good feeling too, <laughs> watching like your student like adapt mid set like in real time take advice that you just gave to them, you know, in the last, you know, 20 minutes and just apply it. It's also like, it's also like kind of 
validating to the mentors because it's like okay that was like yeah i give, I give good advice like yeah <laughs> that's the right thing to do okay mm -hmm. it works. Yeah. i do know something yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah it's always so nice and also yeah. just like the the structure of the event is like it's short sweet it's fun there's like immediate returns if people are doing the right thing so and i'm glad that this yeah. was the first one that both sets a ton of adjustment from both sides for uh, both sets. I'm, I'm very happy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I was uh, I was definitely happy for uh, SMT for how they handled some harmless nonsense. Uh, I still think about when I first uh, played this game back in 2019. I played Akatsuki fighting Merc, and that was that was awful. Uh, Bro, Merc is bullshit. I just. <laughs> Is that, sounds like the, that sounds like the pipeline to becoming a Merkava player, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your origin yeah, you story. Know, you get hit by Merkava stuff, you know, like, wait, I could be doing yeah, that. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> Why am I playing this garbage-ass fist monster character and I, when I could be playing this worm thing? Yeah, like, <laughs> holy. Yeah. Okay, well, and I think we'll just call it here. Thank you very much to the mentors and obviously to the students as well. I... I will obviously do this a lot more in the future, and I'm already getting a lot of people saying that they want to sign up for the next one. Um, so yeah, shout outs to the community who have just flooded into the Discord with tons of support. The really crazy thing is that the community is currently actively mentoring people like in my Discord, even if they don't have opponents or anything yet. They've like independently set up like mentor student relationships and they're like taking like a lot of time to go over stuff to just like teach people like uni fundamentals or like character specifics or matchup stuff and like i wasn't expecting that i was expecting the discord to just be like you know people just duck in specifically to participate or something like that but it's become like kind of like a, a fostering grounds for these kinds of relationships and i'm like i'm so happy to see it it's just it's so sick yeah it's super cool because like like, I didn't even know that Hub and I were going to be doing this, but, like, we had already had, like, a, a little session looking over some games, and I, or I've talked to him after this set today, and, like, we already have plans to look back at these matches, so it's it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, likewise, actually, even. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. I will definitely like to, uh, maybe six months later, we can all, like, watch this again and see how far people have come. We can have a run <laughs> yeah. back to the run back. We, we can do this yeah, yeah. same <laughs> set list again, and then... Oh, yeah, even. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that could be, could be fun in the future, yeah. And then the other thing is, like, I don't know yeah. if the uh, if this actually happened this time around, and no, uh, you know, no harm done if so. But, like, if I could get the mentors to, like, stream their sessions when they're discussing stuff Ooh. with people, then I could put together everything in, like, a big YouTube VOD where we get, like, POVs from everyone, so you can see, like, the, the labbing that's being done in between the sets and stuff and then you can see oh, the results yeah, in the yeah. runback so i think that would be really cool obviously uh no pressure if you don't feel comfortable streaming stuff that's also fine but i think that would be like a, a fun thing to add into that okay yeah that could be cool yeah i think um even, even if um there's no stream people could just do like a local record of mm -hmm. like their yeah. as well and then like send that yeah. to you yeah that's probably better just to so people don't like listen in on right. the stream or something yeah oh yeah for sure or maybe you know, maybe someone else who may not know about this thing we got going on. Maybe they'll catch it and they'll say, like, "Hey, you know, I want to play this character." And hey, look, here's this person playing this character, teaching other, they teaching this person how to play. Yeah, I can take sure. notes. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I like this idea. If we can get more people playing Uni, more people who are interested in picking stuff up, or like, especially with like the, you know, the idea of like a dedicated mentorship for picking this game up, would. Could, nothing could possibly make me happier. I love this game, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. very happy. So, yeah, thanks again to all the mentors. Uh, Arya, Lid, Onyx, Rockhawk, thank you so much for commentating, as well as, you know, putting to get, putting aside the time for, essentially, like, what is this? Two hours or so? It's, it's a, a decent commitment. As well to the players, great games, great adjustments. I'm very happy. And also, uh, I got to shout out Ricer for putting together just like the most amazing graphic assets. They're so I... good. They're so good. Yeah, they're, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of the style. Yeah, I love, I mean, like I put to, I like, I was super picky about the aesthetic and Ricer was just with me all the way. And he was so, he did all of this within the past week. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So if you guys like need incredible quality graphics i think ricer is a bit overwhelmed by real life right now but like within a uh, amount of time 
for some amount of time, he will probably um, open up his commissions again. So I heavily recommend him. He is uh, very good for his price and very prompt and will work with you all the way. And of course, oh. shout out to Empiris Club too for essentially providing a lot of the groundwork for, I mean, you know, the community who are participating in this, as well as for giving me like the tools for the overlay stuff uh, that simplified so much for this. I was really worried that I was going to have to change all the text manually. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, real quick, Trip, is there a way we can get a, a link to the Discord in the chat? Yeah, so there should be an exclamation point AFS command. There you go. So this is the link to the uh, Adaptive Flow State uh, Discord. Perfect. If you would like to join, um, come join. There is a sign-up sheet. There are tons of mentors, tons of students. Like I said before, we have at least one mentor for every single character in the game other than Batista or Nanase, which means that if you're a Batista or Nanase player and you want to mentor someone, we want you here. Yeah, especially. And even aside from that, we have like Mo recently signed up to be a mentor. So, you know, if you guys want literally one of the best uni players in the Western sphere to mentor you, Mo is <laughs> uh, Mo is up there. I mean, I'm super biased because Mo was my mentor for almost the entirety of my uni experience. So he's, uh, he's, he's my goat. GG's everyone, so yeah. thank you so much. I think... Uh, We'll just call it here. All right. Thanks yeah. again for having me. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for having me. All right.